as we get through secondary break or primary break, I think one of the challenges for me has always been, <laughs> what do you want to get into? What do you do next? Okay, is it, do you call set plays every single time? Do you run just a, a motion, a true motion, where it's, you know, pass and screen, pass and cut? Uh, do you do dribble drive? My first couple of years here at Stanford, it's been more of a motion where it's dribble penetration, um, less ball screens, less screens away from the ball, and a lot of just beat your man, dribble drive kind of concepts. So what you do after that, I think, is really important. What I did at UAB for the last couple of years and what we're going to do more this year at Stanford, we're calling lift. Essentially what it is is a ball screen motion um, that you can add a lot of wrinkles to uh, as you go through it. But a quick version of this, there's a variety of teams in the country right now that do run it. Um, and what you can do is flow to it. As you, I mean, you could walk it up after a free throw or dead ball anytime you wanted but any time a secondary break action is over, so all those actions right there, if we didn't get a shot out of it, what do you do next? And then what we're going to be doing is flowing into lift. So right now, let's get the point guard up at half court right now. Let's just do it from the beginning of a play. All right, let's get four and five um, elbows extended, two and three on the wings right now. There's a million different ways you can get into it. There's no right or wrong way either, but what we need to be able to get to eventually is the ball on one side, two perimeter players on the weak side, and then four and five at the elbows up here. So let's just say right now uh, we pass to the high post right here. So what we're going to do, we would have two options right now. But we'll send you through all the way to the corner over there. So cut, back door. Now we're going to get into a two-man game right here on the strong side. Okay? We can eventually do a dribble handoff, a variety of things, but right now we're going to pass, set a side ball screen right here. Okay? Now at this point, Yes, we're going to dive every time right here, okay? And then as you come off, we're going to pass to this high post right here. When you catch this basketball outside the three-point line, when you catch it, your first look is at your partner right there. So it's a good ball fake. Ideally, we get the basketball right there, we get a layup, and it's all easy, okay? If you don't get it, you're going to get back wide again. You're going to lift back up, okay? And the continuity part of this is the top player is going to make a hard back door cut right here. Okay, so you sprint back door. This is your second look. So is your first look with your partner right there. Your next look is going to be right here. And then after that, pass the basketball over here. We're in a ball screen situation over here. We're lifted over here. Dead corner. Out on the wing there. Good. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, pass again. We're showing the continuity part. Pass, back door, get wide. Hang on, wide back out. Good, pass. Ball screen, we're lifted, we have two men on the weak side, ball screen, pass, look for your partner, look for the back door cutter, pass, ball screen, good, you're a little bit wider, good, hang on one second, bigs think about lane lines extended, hang on, bigs think about lane lines extended every time you're catching this basketball, three point line here, side ball screen should occur in this area, maybe not too close to the sideline so we have a little bit of room to operate right here, okay, as this ball screen occurs, again, we're coming off, there's a lot of different ways defenses are playing the ball screen. 